Turn, turn. Going to 21 countries. Is that the biggest tour you ever made? Yeah, probably the biggest, yeah. How often can you do something like that? I should say once every couple of years. It all depends how strong you are. Right now, I'm very strong, I'm very fit, and uh, above all, I'm very enthusiastic about it. That's the thing, you've got to have the enthusiasm to want to do it. Playing soccer every Sunday, you know, right in front of a world tour, is that a little dangerous? No. No, I don't think so. These legs are made of steel. They'll never get broken. Scottish legs? Yeah. But uh, I'm willing to sure, too. What, when you play with, the, with these guys, do you think they back off just to uh, leave you alone? So they don't no, no, work? just the opposite. Um, I think they give me, they tackle me as hard as they tackle anybody else. The secret in not getting hurt is to go in and get the ball 100%. If you start backing off yourself, that's when you get hurt. That's what my father told me, and I've never been seriously hurt playing football all my life. You're not a rich kid when you grew up. No, certainly not. I came from a working class British background. We weren't extremely poor, but we weren't middle class. We were just in between there. Do you think that has, uh, in a way, made your mentality for your success, that the fact that you wanted to make it so badly, do you think this is one of the reasons why you made it to the top? From where I came from anyway, there was only two ways of getting out of the street, and uh, as far as I know, there still are, and it's becoming a professional footballer or joining a rock group, you know. That was the quickest way out. And you chose both? I, I, tried, I tried football first, and I went to sing. I was a footballer for about three weeks, I think, a professional footballer. Would you have made it as a football player? No, because I didn't have the commitment. I knew it then. You know, I loved the game, but I couldn't stand the training, you know, which I still don't like training. I hate it. I just love kicking the ball about. I think the decision was right though, because I'd, I'd have been retired by now, I'm a footballer. And you just started in the other business. Yeah. Uh -huh. You said once that um, you think your life will change, maybe more or less dramatically, the next two years. Yeah. Why did you say that? Well, I'd, I, I know it's going to change. I think we all change. I don't know whether it's going to, in which way it's going to change, but I feel there's a change coming on. I feel I've changed in the last year you a great deal. Uh, Can you describe it? Well, I'm just uh, more acceptable and uh, understanding of uh, other people's problems, and uh, I'm not as short-tempered as I was. And that's probably because I don't drink quite as much as I used to. Because you got kids now? I don't think kids have got anything to do with it. I think uh, kids, yeah, kids do change you, but not the changes I'm talking about. I think it's just, you know, just growing a little bit older. That's what it is. Do, do your kids mean everything to you? Yeah, I would say so. I would say they, yeah, absolutely everything, the wife and kids. I, th I don't think anything would get in the way of, of them. They come first, in other words. Did, you know, a few years ago when you, uh, you were known as the rowdy entertainer, you know, the, the pictures in the newspapers after you throw a chair out of a hotel room and all that, now you don't see that. But Well, give us a chance. I haven't been on the road for some time. <laughs> I'm not saying all that's going to change either. I mean... After you've been on the road for a couple of months and you get bad room service, and I'm sure, you know, telephones and televisions might get thrown out the window. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, Alex Kirk! Someone thought that this is your last world tour, is that true? No, I don't think so. I mean, I can't, I can't very well say whether it's going to be the last tour or not, but uh, it's certainly one of the biggest I've done, and mm. as I said earlier, I don't want to be jumping around the stage when I'm 40 or 42. I think it might be the last tour on this scale. Okay. Okay. Look. Do people really understand what an entertainer goes through on tour? No, I don't think they do. Really, it's uh, it all depends how you pace yourself. I don't think that generally the public don't understand what it's like to be on tour, to get up on stage and give your all for two hours and then try and come down for five or six hours afterwards. It's uh, it's the highest uh, drug of all. It's amazing. You know, I'm going to miss it when I don't do it. That's if I ever don't do it. Oh, 